Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to 3 Now my name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to CAD model and print your very own laptop stand. So hopping right into the video, I wanted to make more projects on this channel and do more fun CAD work, practical designing, things like that. So the first thing I thought of was a stand for laptops because I needed more room on my desk. So I wanted to CAD model and print a vertical stand to hold my laptop. So the first thing is I needed to measure the thickness of my laptop. Once I had that done, I hopped right into Fusion 360 to start CAD modeling my stand. So the first thing was to start with a sketch of the bottom plate of, of my stand. So I started a sketch in Fusion 360, made it to the size that, that I wanted the bottom plate to be. And I made a little offset and I started adding the corners of my stand because I wanted the corners to stick out a little bit so I can hold TPU feet. So once I added these little lines for the corners, I finished that sketch and I extruded the bottom to the correct thickness. So I had to edit some dimensions here to make the, the little corners, the edges, the size that I wanted. And once that's done, I, I added some fillets to the, to the corners to make them more rounded. I made sure to add them to every single corner. Once that's done, I started a, a sketch on the back plane and I wanted to make a profile of what I wanted the slot to be that holds my computer in. So I made a little trapezoid and I extruded that the whole way down so I can start to edit the slot that my laptop goes in. So I added the, the thickness of my laptop and then I started to add some more dimensions to complete my sketch which I can extrude through and create that open cavity in which my computer will sit upright vertical and, and will be held by the stand. So once that's done I extruded that and you can see the, the, the cavity going down the whole stand and again I had to uh, change some dimensions out. This is just trial and error to make it look exactly how, how I wanted it to be and make sure that it functions correctly and holds my computer in upright. So I actually needed to make this whole thing a little bit wider to hold my computer correctly. So I changed those dimensions up in Fusion and make sure that I had both sides symmetric. And once that's done, I added two small fillets on the side and one large fillet in the center to hold, to hold my laptop in correctly. Once that's done, I fixed the alignment on, on the back edge so both ends are symmetric. There we go. And I added some more fillets to make it look professional, make sure there are no sharp corners or edges. Now once that's done, I have my stand for my laptop which should hold it up straight, but I wanted to add feet. So I made a, plane, a sketch on the bottom plane of my stand that I'm going to make, make another offset of just like that. And I'm going to add little and I'm going to add lines to create four feet for the four corners. And once that is done, I'm going to extrude those out so I have something to hook on the TPU little rubber feet onto. So I just had to fix some more dimensions. And once that's done, I selected all four of the feet and extruded them out downwards just like that. Now I, now I created a new component which is going to be the TPU little feet that stick on the bottom and make sure that it won't slide across my desk. So I made that new component, made a sketch, and I made an, another offset from the bottom of the, uh, of the foot and I extruded that upward so it wraps around the bottom foot of the stand. And then I need to finish this off by making a bottom sketch and extruding that downward to create this solid model that I'm going to print in TPU, which will hopefully help the stand not slide around on my desk. So once all the CAD modeling is finished up, I exported both the models as .stl files separately. So I have one for PLA, the stand, and one I'll print in TPU, which is the feet. 
So I imported both those into Cura, slice them up real quick, and I drag them in to my Octoprint server, which I used to print from my CR10. So I started the first print, which is the PLA stand body itself, and that took about five hours to print with, and I made it 15% infill. So once that started, I switched over to black TPU and printed the feet on my Tavo Tornado. And that printed quickly in about an hour. So when both those prints were finished, I popped them off the beds and put the black TPU feet on the bottom of the stand body itself and tested it out. I put it on my desk, placed my laptop inside, and it fit perfectly, which is awesome. So now I have a stand to put my laptop in and freed up some space on my desk. And I can also charge my computer while it's vertical in the stand, which is awesome. So if you want to use my model, I will post it on my Thingiverse page, which is called 3D Now, or I'll put a link down below in the description of this video. And hopefully you guys can go and maybe CAD your own stand or if you have any other ideas for projects that I can do, comment down below. And with that being said, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, comment down below. I will answer every single one of them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.